Hello everyone, my name is Peter Chen from the University of Connecticut. Today we are going to talk about uh, map queries using QGIS. So uh, if you look at my screen, I have put our data into a local folder. And if you look into this folder uh, on my desktop, we have two layers. One is interstate, and another is US states. So I'm going to load those two different layers into QGIS. So now I have my QGIS um, opened and uh, I'm going to find the data first and from the browser panel. So just expand um, in your work folder and um, I put it under C drive, geography 2500 and lab 10. And uh, so here are our two layers. And there are different ways to load the two layers. And uh, you can either double click and OK, double click. And these two layers will be loaded uh, into your map areas. And uh, you, can, you may probably notice that there, uh, there are no interstates on the map. This is because the interstate is below the US states layer. So I can just drag and uh, drop and switch the order of those two layers and you can see the interstate will be above US states. So that's our first way to load the data. Let me remove the layer first. And there are different ways to load data in QGIS. Um, the other way is to add the data from the toolbar. So if you look at the toolbar, there is a, an open data icon and you can load the data from there by finding your um, work folder from the source. And, and there, are, uh, there is another way, which is under the menu. So if you go to the layer and you can actually add the layer and we are adding the shape file which is a vector layer. So you can just click add layer and uh, it brings up the same window. So those are the three ways of adding the layer. And of course, you can just select the layer and uh, just drag and drop and put it under the layer section. So next, let's talk about the toolbar. So there are many toolbars that can help you to navigate the map as well as select the layer. So one of the tool is called the identify tool, which is a, a information icon with a white arrow in the corner. In order to use the identify tools, uh, you need to select a feature first. So the QGIS knows which uh, layer you are working with. So let's select US states and use the identify tool to identify the information underneath a feature such as California. If you click on the feature, it will show the information of California, including the state name, population 2000, etc. So that is the identify tool. The next is a select tool. So you can actually select um, the feature just by clicking on um, the map. And of course you have to have this uh, layer selected. The third is the attribute table tool. But before that, let's uh, deselect the features by clicking on this button. The attribute tool uh, is to derive a view, the attribute table underneath the layer. And there are two different ways to open the attribute table. One is by right click, um, by right clicking the layer, and then open attribute table. And the second, you can go to the toolbar. And if you look at there, the icon, uh, table shaped icon, just click on that. You can open the attribute table of the selected layer. Once the attribute table is opened, you can see a list of states in the United States. Um, and the, the fields contain the different property of the state, such as uh, the FIPS code for the state, the regions, the abbreviation, as well as population. 
So let's take a look at the population field. Um, if you click on the title of the table or pop 2000, you can actually rank or sort the data in a descending order or ascending order. So from the largest to the smallest or the, from the smallest to the largest. And this is a very convenient uh, in QGIS. And next, let's take a look at some other functions in this attribute table, such as map query. So for example, if you want to um, find all the states with a population over 10 millions, so you can use this tool called the select features using an expression tool, and we call that a map query tool. And this is uh, like a is, is, epsilon uh, icon on the table. So let's open that and see what uh, functions it contains. So when this select by expression tool is open, you can see um, the layout is very complicated uh, with uh, a lot of uh, options in this area. So we're not going to go through every one of them. We're going to be only looking at just one of them, which is called fields and values. So let's expand the fields and values and find the population 2000. So we can actually click on the population 2000 and then it pops up uh, in this window. So you don't have to type it uh, manually. So here we are using a very basic SQL query or SQL query and to filter the data. So let's type in pop 2000 greater than space 10 million, which is one and uh, seven zeros. After that, if you click the select feature um, in the lower right corner, and uh, you will probably notice that all the features in the map as well as in the attribute table will be highlighted. So if you close the window and uh, return to the map display area, and you will probably see that um, those uh, states with a, a larger population will be highlighted on the map. So let's reopen the attribute table of the US states and see what it contains uh, uh, in the table. And you will probably notice that there are um, the selected states uh, highlighted in the attribute table as well. And if you look over uh, the title of this table or the attribute table, you can see uh, it indicates how many features are there within the table, how many are filtered, and how many, how many are selected. And if you only want to show the selected features, you can go to the lower left corner and click on the all show all features and switch it to show selected features. And then only the select features will be included in this table. And let's, um, move to show all features and uh, deselect. And of course you can deselect, uh, there the deselect icon in the attribute table as well. And let's do another um, map query by combining different conditions. And, and this time we're not going to go uh, over the selection or select by expression icon in the attribute, attribute table. And there is actually the same icon under the menu. You will probably notice that there is also a select by expression tool there. So now let's add another criteria, which is a population density has to be greater than 100. And so that is a combination of two SQL queries. Uh, let's just re-enter the first one, which is population 2000 over one and uh, seven zeros. 
and we need to add an operator to combine the expression. An end operator means um, the result has to be satis has to satisfy both conditions. And our second condition is the population density, which is a field called pop 0 underscore SQMI, representing population per square mile. So let's click on that and type in greater than 100. So if we click on the select features, we can see that um, states satisfying both conditions will be selected. And the select by expression tool is actually more complicated um, than what we have done before. So you can actually combine different um, operators such as and, or, and not. And to refer to those conditions, you actually have to uh, refer to uh, other materials for, com for forming the more complicated queries. So let's uh, move to the next section. Uh, one question you may have is, once you have selected those features, how can we export them and save them as a separate shapefile? In order to save them as a separate shapefile, you just go to the features uh, of interest or the layer of interest, right click, and then find export, and then you can save the selected features as a separate layer. So just click, and the window will pop up. So we need to first set up the, the path by clicking on the three dots um, besides the file name. Then we find a place uh, under our um, local drive. So you can just save it under your uh, work folder. Uh, in my case, this is C drive and geography 2500 lab 10. And then you rename it such as selected states and then press save. And uh, you can even change the coding system of this uh, saved layer by changing it right here. And of course you can use this icon to locate more coding systems. So it's uh, at automatical conversion in this serving process. And uh, you can actually now save it. But of course, if you want to do more um, filtering, for example, you only want to save selected fields, you can actually expand this uh, option called select field to export and their export options. And you can check and uncheck the, the, the different fields to uh, set up if they should be co considered or included in your saved file. So this is a very convenient feature of QGIS. So after the setup, just press OK. And you will probably notice that a new layer called selected state will pop up uh, in the layers panel. And if you uncheck the US states and uncheck the interstate, you will see only the select features will be on the map.